We are on campus at the University of Illinois at Champaign-Urbana, talking with economist Dr. Jeffrey Hewings, director of the Regional Economics Applications Laboratory. What can we expect for the Illinois housing market now that the stimulus has ended? I think there's no doubt that all stimuli, including the one for the housing market, are going to result in slower growth. Uh, for the economy, we've already seen this happening the last two months nationally. Private sector growth has been swamped by losses in the government uh, sector, particularly temporary census employees. There is no doubt that the uh, withdrawal of the uh, incentives for new time purchases and for people uh, buying homes is going to probably delay a lot of people entering the market. And I think they're probably going to see the summer as a time for them to sort of sit on the sidelines and wait and see what happens. Summers tend to be uh, uh, dominated by, in most people's minds, time for vacation relaxing. And by the time uh, school starts again, people begin to think about uh, their, uh, their housing needs. But I think that uh, we'll probably see uh, a little bit lower rates of growth in the housing market for the second half of the year. The stimulus probably didn't have as big an impact as uh, I think it was anticipated, and likewise its withdrawal will probably not result in a, in a major change in the sales price relationships over the next uh, six months. At least that's what our data are suggesting right now. We've had strong sales gains in the first half of the year. What is your forecast for sales activity? I, I think that uh, two or three years ago, a lot of analysts made the forecast that people were going to become much more risk averse. And uh, we have to recall that as a country, we have been pilloried both nationally and internationally for the fact that we don't save enough. And uh, it seems as though we finally have gotten religion. Our savings rates now are very, very high. People are paying down debt. People are being very, very cautious about making purchases for big ticket items like cars, um, renovating houses, buying new houses. And I think that uh, what, what is likely to happen is that uh, this will probably continue at least uh, probably for another six to nine months until I think we get some strong signals that the economy is going to turn around. What can we expect for the second half of the year for the Illinois housing market? Prices are a real stubborn issue here. We've now gone uh, well over a year where we've had sales in the positive side of the ledger, but home prices are continuing to, uh, uh, to be very stubborn, trending downward in some metropolitan markets in Illinois, uh, and continuing so in Chicago a little bit. I think the, the real issue uh, for us is, is trying to get a, a sense as to when the foreclosure problem will go through the market. And I think that uh, the consensus forecasts are that it's probably going to be another 6 to 18 months that these, uh, what uh, somebody has referred to as fiscal time bombs that were, were laid three, four, five years ago are finally going to be realized where people uh, are going to find that they're underwater in terms of uh, their ability to pay their mortgages. And uh, probably there will still be a continued increase in foreclosed properties entering the market. And these are going to have a very dampening effect on, on prices.